Yes. All right, let, let's talk about Marianne Williamson, who had the audacity to say that she was praying for the people who were in the path of the hurricane. She got mocked on Twitter for this. Uh, she originally said, you know, the Bahamas, Florida, Georgia, and Carolinas, may they all be in our prayers now. Millions of us seeing Dorian turn away from land is not a wacky idea. It's a creative use of the power of the mind. Um, you know, she, she went on to say that she's concerned, basically, that other candidates in, in the Democrat Party have alienated people who believe in prayer. She said, I grew up in Texas, you know, and, and to me, this is a very, this is a, a normal thing to suggest that perhaps we should all pray for these people to be safe in the path of this. Why was that so derided, Jessica? So I think there are two kinds of prayer at work here. So there's the pray for the people who have been affected, which I think that we can all get on board, however that you pray or you think of people spiritually, traditionally. Um, but then I think people were taking issue with the idea that you could have, by the power, harnessing the power of our minds, we could have changed the course of it. And the Democrat Party right now, especially with what's going on with gun violence in this country, has a very difficult time with the thoughts and prayers argument, right? That's what we feel we get from Republicans all the time instead of meaningful change on gun it's control like, issues. You know, but praying in general is, is considered but something that is weird, I think. I, I mean, I, I don't understand it personally. I, I mean, I think that the idea that, you know, and Marion Williamson actually retweeted um, FDR's prayer uh, the night before D-Day, and, and I thought, would, it, would that ever happen? You know, would there ever be a president who would, you know, say to the whole nation, okay, I need, I need to bring you all together. We're all going to pray together. Again, and she's saying if Democrats don't don't start recognizing the fact that a lot of people in this country would like that, um, that that they're going to lose. That's what that's what she said. I, look, I'm from the South. I, I I don't understand that the negative reaction against prayer. I know churches and communities all over this country have done such positive things for the people who are members, the people who are not members, and my own mother, who worked in hospice care for years as a volunteer, told me over and over again about the power of prayer for those patients that she worked with. And the kinds of things that could happen to her were astonishing. So to, to dismiss this belief is, is fundamentally wrong on its face. Well, I think there's going to be a large portion of evangelical Christians that will never vote for Democrats, primarily for the reason of abortion, which we talked about earlier, that they view as murder. Um, but I will say regarding the power of prayer, it is real. I mean, why do you think we often hear with in times of a, a hurricane or in a mass shooting, what did people say when they're being interviewed? They said, I prayed to God to save me. I prayed for my life. I prayed to God. So if prayer, if prayer isn't powerful, then why in such a crisis and dire situation did they turn to God? So I, I do think that prayer, uh, prayer is incredibly powerful. I also wish I could say prayer as opposed to keeping saying prayer. <laughs>